as Christians today, how should we be looking at the world events with all that's taking place? You know, you could be overwhelmed with what's happening, but I want to encourage you today, as we look around the world and we see, as it were, the world unraveling, I want to say to you today, according to God's word, the Bible, everything is coming together. We have a tendency to panic when we see uh, events of the world where there's rioting and where there's mayhem and wars, and as Jesus said, rumors of wars. But I want you to be encouraged with what Paul the Apostle had to say to us. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1, Paul said, But concerning the times and the seasons, brethren, you'll have no need that I should write unto you. The very promises of God's word, concerning the times and the seasons, you'll have no need that I should write unto you. What is the meaning of that? Now, it is true that no man knows the day or the hour, and we thank God for that. But concerning the times and the seasons, the believer is to discern, to be figuring out, as it were, in light of the Bible, what we should be thinking and how we should be acting. More than ever, you and I need to know what God's will is for our lives. He says we will know the times and the seasons. My friend, now you are to know the Word of God. Right now, you are to be in the Word. So as we look at the world's events, don't panic. When we see the world's events as they are right now today, with what's transpiring in front of us, we should, as Jesus said, look up when we begin to see these things happen, for our redemption draws near. More than ever, the Christian should be strong and bold, standing up in our faith, upon Christ, to the world around us, like never before. People need hope. 